Hi, hello students and professionals. Welcome back to another important session. In this session, we're particularly looking for uh, if any sales documents get blocked uh, with the help of delivery block or billing block, okay? So how can we come to know? Suppose uh, if you look at normal practice system, okay, it is very difficult to, it is easy to find out. Uh, like, you know, if you have few documents, 10 documents, 20 documents. So, but uh, whereas in real time, I have worked with certain projects so where like uh, the day itself, they are generating a uh, thousand sales orders, uh, sometimes 10,000 sales, order, sales orders across the globe. In the country, it is 10,000 sales orders. Certain case, certain sales orders, whether it is blocked because of delivery block or billing block, how we come to know. Okay, so this is the same scenario what I have observed in ECC and uh, S4 or not 2020 will have the same set of report available. Let's see this. Okay. So, if a particular sales order has a delivery block, this is the transaction we can able to list out what are all the sales orders has a delivery block. Okay, so this is the report VA23. This is particularly used to uh, get those sales documents which has due for billing and has a delivery block in sales order. Okay, let's see an SAP system. Okay, let me tell you one thing. So before going ahead for our session, uh, so my name is Jagdish Kumar. I have my courses readily available. So whatever the courses available, those uh, links uh, in uh, relevant to Udemy, I have kept in the, uh, this uh, video description. If you'd like to learn like SAP sales and distribution, it's almost like, you know, 69 hours mm, and uh, pricing concepts. This course will be enhanced continuously get added actually. So you have a courses on rebates on ECC level and FSM integration, this is one of the beautiful course which is available for uh, Udemy level in my account. So this is uh, like, you know, whatever the credit management settings which you found in ECC that got moved to uh, FSEO, financial supply chain management, one module will be there in S4 HANA. So if no one is not at introduced to S4 HANA, they can able to join this course. Without this, you cannot able to run any SAP S4 HANA project. This is all about, you know, business partner concepts. Here I explain three scenarios. If someone is very new to the industry, they would like to know how to write a functional specification. What is rise up? This is one specific course available. So apart from that, few other courses available. So like, you know, STOs, one course available, a very beginners. Uh, so some, uh, I mean, SD business processes on S4 and ECC, both two separate courses available. You can able to utilize this opportunity. Let's quickly get into the topic. Okay. So let's go to the S4 HANA system. Let's try to see how we can able to work this out. Okay. So let's go to first V23. Okay. So this is my sales area. I'm just running this. So this is as 400 to the no documents were found in the session criteria. So like, so SD billing documents block for billing not available. Okay, let's see. VA 14L. Sales documents blocked for delivery. Okay, so here is the case. If I run this report, so no readily available. Let's try to explore this, how we can able to do this one. Okay, let's try to create a sales order now. Okay, so what I copied it as a DOR. Okay, let's try to take this customer. Okay, test delivery block. Okay, let's keep this. I'm just assigning the delivery block. My delivery block is export papers missing. Okay, so I'm just taking a certain material. So with the quantity, let's go to the more and try to check in compute log, okay? So no worry. So S4 HANA screens also similarly look like easy screens, but on top of it, you have a design screens will be there that is Fury. So when the time comes, we'll have a discussion on that. Don't worry about this one. So FOB, 
I'm just uh, taking Hamburg for this customer. Okay, let's go back. Now document is completed. Let's save this. Okay, the same order. See, you try to remember this. This order number is 165. So let's try to create one more customer. Okay, test billing block. Okay, I'm just, I would like to show you this one. Okay, let's come here, take some other set of material. I'm just taking the quantity. Okay, that's fine. Let's continue. Let's try to keep the billing block. So price is incomplete. I'm just keeping this one. Let's try to go and check edit. Go to incomplete log. Okay, no problem. So let's try to take this one. And again, Hamburg again from this customer. Let's press enter. So go back. And here I got one more incomplete log for payment terms. Let's try to fill this. So let's try to save this. Okay, 165, 166. One is uh, with uh, billing block. One is uh, with delivery block. Okay. Press. Let's put this. Okay, let me check. Okay, block is assigned. Now let's try to create one more order. This is how you need to come to know this. Okay, on practice only you can able to remember what you wanted to become. Okay, so let's take the same material with the quantity. So here I'm choosing uh, like, you know, change quantity for delivery block. And this one is for some kind of Check terms of payment. Okay, these are the errors. I mean, block errors. So, a lot of investigation will be there. It's let's go to incomplete log again for this order. Let's go in go terms. Okay. Press enter. So, let's try to save this one. We have created three orders, 165, 166, and 167. Okay. So let's, uh, let's try to run a report. So if you go back, let me show you. Okay. VA14L. I'm going for this. Now, slash N VA14L. Okay. So for this sales area, I'm just running. I'm not giving any customer specific for this report. You can see this. So now you can see 165 and 167 came. Okay, because 165 having delivery block. Okay, you can see this is the delivery block. And 167, if you see the delivery block is this. Okay, this is how you can able to see this one. So let's try to check the billing block transaction is v23 let's let's run this report so you will get it again two so you can see 166 165 is missing because that is holding only delivery 167 is common because you assign both the blocks you can see this price and complete and check in quote terms so how do we do that we have a release process actually this is a practice system like you know so if you work in production system you cannot able to release on your own if you have if you have access also you shouldn't do that it is going to be like a big escalation you have to speak to the user or write an email or something you need to do it okay so like you know if you'd like to further process or else you just need to investigate if any automatic billing block is get assigned through some program why what could be the reason Okay, you just new give you just have to give it the justification. Okay, let's try to go for this document. Click on this edit sales document. Now let's come try to choose blank. Okay, now I remove the billing block. Now save it. So okay, 166 came. Okay, let's 
go back okay press s so now try to execute again so that will be moved that order In the similar way if you come here you try to remove the billing block here if you if you'd like to remove both you can able to remove no issues okay let's save this see now it became green both blocks got removed okay if you go exit try to run here nothing is there In the similar way okay what is that vl vl 14l okay vl 14l press here vl 14l sorry okay if i press here you try to run we'll have one document here because you, you removed both the delivery and billing block for the doc, particular document so now go to edit selection try to remove this block okay let's save this now it will it will become okay now let's go back and try to execute it we'll not get nothing because all documents got released this is how you have to play with the system so now you can ask what is the advantage you can able to do that header block or item block different kind of blocks will be there that is different story so what is advantage for example you have a list of uh, so your uh, ceo so you are a vice president of sales at that to the general manager i just would like to know what are all the documents blocked for last financial year or else last quarter last six months so they can able to run a report they can take all the documents to uh, they can import the do documents and they can give the list and they will ask the uh, back end team to check what could be the reason otherwise they will have a lot of auditing issues in business actually this is how without having any purpose no one is going to do generally uh, whoever doing the practice so they will think that you know why these many reports why we want it hcp has this much scope this much business and all it's not like that so it's all about business once you get into the real time, real time project you will come to know what is the advantage with this so as i said that my courses available in udemy those links i have provided in the description if you'd like to learn anything and hands your knowledge you can subscribe it and my courses will be continuously get updated okay thank you have a great day